2019 run 1500 review. From workhorse to polo pony, the 2019 run 1500 adapts to what you may require from your truck. The 2019 RAN 1500 is all new and redesigned but hasn't abandoned its successes, namely a distinctive coil spring rear suspension that generates a smooth ride without having to sacrifice towing or hauling capability. Perhaps the RAM 1500's greatest feat is in the roll of a blank canvas to make your truck needs around. From work truck to luxury truck. The Ram 1500 provides a broad experience. For 2019, the Ram 1500 has shed pounds. Ram says the revolutionary truck is almost 225 pounds lighter than its predecessor despite adding stronger steel construction to its frame. Maximum payload and towing capacity as well as increasing. As you move the class exclusive air suspension receives fine tuning for improved ride comfort, off-road capability and load leveling. A mild hybrid engine assist technology called eTorque appears within this new RAM. Not a hybrid technology within the traditional feeling of a gas electric car, eTorque stores electricity inside a lithium battery helping the automatic engine stop-start system work more smoothly. It also offers a bit of extra power in a nutshell bursts. For now, the Ram's previously available 3.0-litre diesel V6 isn't offered, however it could show up within the 2020 model. Inside, the Ram delivers new technology highlighted by an optional infotainment system that has a massive 12-inch touchscreen display, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and multiple USB ports. Ironically, one particular CD player is optional only on higher trim levels. The new Ram's predecessor was among the older designs among American Hafton pickups, but get rid of. Sharp and new design, additional technology, and increased capability vault the 2019 Ram 1500 back in its places on the list of top achievers to use class. For more descriptive information within this year's changes, take a look at our 2019 Ram 1500 First Look and our 2019 Ram 1500 First Drive Articles. What's new? The Ram 1500 is all new for 2019. Notable latest features and changes on the previous model will include a roomier cabin for the crew cab model increased payload and towing capacity, improved suspension components, new infotainment systems, and also a mild hybrid system providing you with modest quantities of electric help to the lineup of capable V6 and V8 engines. Today's pickups are chameleons, capable of being anything from economy workhorses to luxury rides with tremendous cargo capability. The 2019 RAN 1500 offers broad options, if we were you get one for work and play double duty, we'd select the big horn which has a handful of options, with one exception. If our play regularly included dirt roads, the Rebel could be the only option. Trim Levels and Features The 2019 RAN 1500 is often a full-size pickup available within a handful of body style, bed length and powertrain configurations. Most RAM 1500s come standard like a quad cab that may seat around 6 passengers. The optional crew cab increases rear seat legroom and supplies full-size rear doors. Quabe cabs feature three-quarter size rear doors. Quad cabs have a very standard bed size 6 feet 4 inches, many Ram 1500 crew cabs offer either the conventional bed or even a short bed 5 feet 7 inches. The Ram 1500 offers 7 trim levels, Tradesman, HFE, Bighorn, Rebel, Laramie, Longhorn and Limited. Standard on all trims is really a 3.6 litre V6 305 horsepower, 269 pound feet of torque. 
optional and basically the HFE is often a 5.7 litre V8, 395 horsepower, 410 lbft. Both engines pair by having an 8-speed automatic transmission, a 3.21 axle ratio, and rear wheel drive. Four wheel drive can be obtained on almost the HFE. Lower axle ratios 3.55 and 3.92 are also offered on most models. The workhorse from the lineup, the tradesman makes minimal concessions to luxury with 18 inch steel wheels, vinyl flooring, and upholstery, plus the Uconnect infotainment system using a 5 inch touchscreen display. But it isn't totally lacking conveniences or creature comforts. Standard features include automatic headlights, a locking tailgate, a class 3 hitch receiver, trailer sway control, heated side mirrors, push button ignition, cruise control, a 402040 split folding bench seat, AC, a rear view camera, rear seat USB charge ports, Bluetooth, a 5 inch touch screen, plus a 6 speaker sound system with dual USB inputs plus an auxiliary audio jack. The tradesman is usually upgraded with options that such as a class 4 hitch receiver, trailer brake control, an electric locking rear differential, towing mirrors, chrome exterior trim, a spray in bed liner, cloth upholstery, a folding rear seat, satellite radio as well as a CD player. The HFE is provided like the tradesman but offers increased fuel efficiency from the V6 engine. It's available simply with rear-wheel drive. Ram hadn't yet revealed details with this specific trim level during the time of our review. The big horn referred to as the Lone Star in Texas adds more features including 18-inch alloy wheels, fog lights, tinted windows, floor carpet, cloth upholstery, plus a 6040 split folding rear bench seat, but a lot more options are available with the big horn as opposed to tradesmen. They include 20-inch wheels, an air suspension, LED headlights and taillights, side steps, power-adjustable pedals, dual zone climate control, and Uconnect infotainment with all the 8.4-inch touchscreen and Android Auto and Apple CarPlay smartphone integration. Off-road underbody protection, larger fuel tanks and bed utilities can be found. The Rebel is geared more toward off-roading and comes standard with specialized off-road tires, front tow hooks, skid plates, fortified shocks and suspension, an electronic digit-looking rear axle, a 3.92 axle ratio, and hill descent control. It also builds within the big horns features having a class 4 hitch receiver, LED headlights and fog lights, a 115 volt power outlet, a power adjustable driver seat, front bucket seats, a more substantial driver information display and satellite radio. The Ram 1500 moves into luxury territory on the Laramie trim level, which improves many in the optional features as listed above with back and front parking sensors, leather upholstery, power adjustable 402040 split bench front seats, heated and ventilated front outboard seats, driver seat position memory power adjustable pedals with memory, a heated controls and keyless entry. Other upgrades include dual zone automatic climate control, an auto dimming rear view mirror, a 115 volt rear seat outlet, two rear seat USB inputs an example may be charge lead, the Uconnect infotainment system using an 8.4 inch touch screen, a 9 speaker head unit, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, and emergency notification. Moving deeper into creature comforts, the Longhorn adds 20-inch wheels, a spray-in bed liner, chrome side steps, power tailgate release, automatic high beams, automatic wipers, front bucket seats with upgraded leather upholstery, heated and ventilated reclining rear seats, a leather-wrapped wood leader, a navigation system, and, yes, a CD player. Note versus the Longhorn comes having a short bed, even so the longer bed is optional. The Longhorn will also be ordered without worrying about spray and bed liner.
the limited gym caps off of the amenities using a standard adjustable air suspension, chrome exterior trim, power retractable side steps, premium Aliva bucket seats, blind spot monitoring and rear cross traffic alert. Many of the specific trim levels standard features are optional about the trim level below it. There are also several cosmetic appearance packages available, including chrome to black head out grills, exhaust tips along with accents. Options for all models include various bed utilities adjustable tie downs, bed lighting and ram box bed storage, and components for off-roading, towing and trailering. More select options, like 22-inch wheels, are accessible higher trims for example the Laramie along with the Limited. Optional advanced precautionary features available Laramie, Longhorn and Limited trim levels include adaptive cruise control, forward collision warning, automatic emergency braking, lane departure warning, a surround view camera system plus a self-parking system. An optional Uconnect package which has a large 12-inch touchscreen is usually exclusive to those trims. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically will come in multiple versions that happen to be fundamentally similar. The S on this review provide our first drive in the RAN 1500 Limited Crew Cab 5.7 liters V8, 8-speed automatic, 4WD. Driving. V6 and V8 power output continues to be the same for 2019, but reduced body mass and smarter transmission response means they feel more capable. We haven't tested the eTalk system in new RAM yet, but we've found the identical system in the newest Jeep Wrangler provides smooth initial acceleration. Comfort the Ram 1500 remains to be the only full-size pickup offering a coil spring rear suspension that contributes to its smooth, sedan-like ride, especially when fitted using the optional air suspension. Enhancements for 2019 cause more back seat room without capability. Interior Alwatch is certainly one of its signature achievements. The Ram offers some with the nicest cabin treatments among all full-size pickups. Trucks haven't any business being this nice inside, but we aren't complaining. Upgrades for 2019 such as a massive, optional 12-inch touchscreen infotainment display. Utility Among the few knocks on last year's Ram was its slightly lower payload and towing capacities in accordance with its rivals. But improvements for 2019 include greater capacity on both fronts now place the Ram 1500 in advance of its Chevy and Toyota competition and behind its Ford rival. Technology Ram's Uconnect infotainment is just about the best as a result of its many features and quick responses. For 2019, fears an optional, massive 12-inch display interface. The mid to 8 .4 inch screen remains to be plenty useful, though. Some advanced driver aids are offered but are restricted to higher trim levels.